What is going on guys? Kittymon here. Welcome back to another Terraria Tuesday. If you didn't see the last video, I highly recommend it. We ended up finding a crazy mineshaft. Like, this is probably the biggest one I've ever seen in Terraria. It doesn't look like much, but when you scale it to like the whole map, that's like almost a quarter of the entire map on a large world. Is pretty crazy and it keeps going like I haven't finished discovering all of it because we ended up dying to the Queen bee in the last video so Pretty enjoyable time I'm thinking in today's video. Oh, yeah, we also killed the brain of Cthulhu. It had like a weird quadruple image ability It was kind of scuffed though because it didn't necessarily stand up to this thing so it's whatever but still a cool boss boss fight uh i have no clue what the uh wall of flesh's ability is but i'm thinking i'm gonna start the video out by making a better um what do you want to call it elevator oh wrong button or miss Placement on my click, I guess, is a better way to call that. But we're going to start out by making a better elevator because this just isn't going to really do. We're, we're kind of falling slowly. I mean, it will work, but I want to make it better. Whether or not I will show you guys this, I don't know. Probably won't. Because this is kind of a slow, tedious process, and I don't really think you guys want to see that. So, uh, that didn't really go too well. I mean, it works. It kind of makes it a little bit better, but eh, not really. I mean, it just connects up to a thing later down the road. I mean, I guess it's faster, but oh well. I, I didn't have, I thought I had a lot more bombs than what I actually had, I guess. And I destroyed a bunch of torches because of different water flows and stuff, whatever. It's all good. I don't know if I explained it in the intro or not, but we are going to create the arena, but we aren't going to go in. We aren't going to like try and defeat him right away. I feel like that's kind of obvious. However, I want to kind of prepare for the mechanical bosses because the mechanical bosses are what you need to defeat right as soon as you go into hard mode those are like the next three main bosses and until you do beat them i want to say your world is slowly spreading corruption which is like the crimson biome for us and there's also another biome that spawns in once we beat the wall of flesh called the hollow and you basically have those areas constantly spreading up until you beat those bosses from my understanding. So I think we're also going to try and prepare for them even before we spawn in or uh, do our first attempt at the wall of flesh. So I bought a bunch, I have a bunch of blocks with us and we're just going to, we're going to see what we can do. Also, the slimes dropping lava, I don't know if that's a expert mode thing or not. I believe that is, I won't lie, I think that that's like something that only happens in expert mode. Unless they got like a buff or something, like slimes got a, a more 
like crazy ability or lava slime specifically It'd be kind of nuts in a way i guess it prevents us from using solid blocks as our main blocks for the boss fight but the reason why i use solid blocks is because the wall of flesh has two eyes and those two eyes shoot lasers at us. And if one of the eyes is below the solid block, obviously the laser isn't going to shoot through a solid block. So it just helps us m mitigate. Minute, minute, mitigate. Is that the right word? Uh, but yeah, it helps us not take as much damage, basically. Oh man. So uh this is what I was talking about with the 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 lava. Cheeky little guys. Oh silt. <laughs> yeah, we're gonna be No, oh, I didn't mean to kill the stupid slime. Bruh. Looks like we're using some cobblestone for a little bit. And then we start getting attacked by more random things. Is this just how the underworld works? Also, I realize we're venturing into new territory right now in the underworld. Should be pretty alright. Man, I really hope a uh, lava slime doesn't mess with our, um... Mess with the boss fight. Like, imagine while we're doing a boss fight, doing the wall of flesh. Just lava slime comes up, we die to lava damage. I'm gonna juke this slime. He's gonna try and catch up to me. Or I guess. You need the double damage on me? What the heck? Never seen a more accurate. I've never seen a sniper slime before. Aw oh, man, we found a chest and we actually have an obsidian key on us. Let's go. I believe we still haven't found ourselves a guide voodoo doll. Now that I'm thinking about it, I think we still have to find one of those demons. Oh man. I also forgot how much gold these things actually give us, like these houses and runes down here. Pretty nuts. They'll give us good arrows. Was it worth those three arrows? I don't know. Either way, we got ourselves a Dark Lance. Maybe not the best item. However, still pretty good. Oh, hey, we finally found a bed down here. Remember when we were trying to find one of those things so we could actually, like, not die? Or so we could change our spawn point over by the, um... Over by the dungeon? Well, we finally found one. Okay, this... this that ability is actually kind of getting annoying, I'm not gonna lie. Because everyone just keeps running away from us for no reason. I mean, there's an, there is a reason, but, like, I can see how it comes in handy, but at the same time, if you, I can actually, like, deal with the problem. Kind of annoying. Hopefully that slime can't get through there now. Let's go. That's probably one of the creepiest paintings I've ever seen in the underworld. Look at that. Man's a little gremlin, like, oh man. The wild picture. I 
Part of me also feels like we could benefit from not breaking all of those, because sometimes they give you health. But that's like sometimes, you know? Usually they're good things, but I'm just saying. We are in a pinch during the boss fight. It, those things could be pretty, pretty handy, dude. So far, I don't know how far we've gone. I also don't remember how you're supposed to spawn him in. Um, <laughs> there's been a couple times where it's like I spawn him in and he spawns in from the wrong direction. And that's just like a, a little bit of a no bueno. Oh, I definitely messed up right there. I'll just... A hundred damage, dude? That was me dealing a hundred damage, by the way. Pretty sure if I took a hundred damage, I'd probably be dead. But I have 300 health, I think, right now. 400, okay. We also found another obsidian chest. That's pretty cool. Not sure how much damage it does. Increased pickup range for items. That could actually be really handy. Someone's a baby imp. Hasn't learned how to teleport yet. Put that in my pet's slot. Oh man. Don't mind me. Oh, it's a. That's funny, it's a purple, purple imp. Am I traumatizing our pet by killing imps? I don't know. But what I do know is we are kind of going crazy with this bridge right now. Bro phased through some blocks. That was wild. Also, I'm not sure how affected these tight, effective these tight spaces are gonna be. I know for us, however, it might be a decent place to heal up, but I don't know how much further we have until we hit the the side of the world. Bro, making me mess up my uh block placements. You defeated your fiftieth bat. I'm pretty sure the banner just fell into the, the lava. I do like how banners give like a status bonus too. They basically allow us to, um, they allow us to deal more damage. A normal cave bat down here. What? Bro, bro's in the wrong environment. died I was not paying attention to my health I was just kind of tanking everything oh man I was not paying attention I was just like doing my thing I don't even know how far we got honestly we made it a pretty decent way I don't know if that's going to be long enough to kill an expert level um wall of flesh though is it long enough guys i really don't know 
how much smoother that is compared to needing to walk and jump and stuff. The goblin army is approaching from the east, bruh. Well, good news is... Bruh. I was going to say, good news is now that we kind of have this thing set up, we can just sprint it, you know? Sprint all the way back. Going to try avoid killing some slimes. This is a heavy damage area that will be... Ex exchanging blows. What? Yeah, these like open areas that's just flat. These are going to be... Oh, this area is going to be crazy for not only taking damage, but also receiving damage. So, not sure how well that's going to go. And again, I also don't know what his ability is once we get him down to like half health. But either way, it should be all right. Hopefully. Oh, hey. Do we already have one of these? We might. I don't need the cobwebs. Definitely should have dropped off some of these uh, ores on the way, but oh well. Or well. Get it? Because ore is a bad joke. I wouldn't be surprised if like everyone just stopped watching the video after that one. These bats are gonna drive me batty, dude. Bad jokes. All's good. Dude, this area is going to be absolutely insane for taking damage, I'm just saying. Oh, man. Also, what a weird spot for an obsidian chest. Restoration potion, heck yeah. Silver bullets, I mean, with tungsten bullets, even worse. I think, right? Tungsten, silver. Demonic superior I'll just do one of those for now because I don't really plan on Look at that. We found ourselves a uh, guide voodoo doll. Or a guide voodoo demon, which drops the guide voodoo doll. Um, how do I want to... I'll just drop that. Lava slime. Alright, cool. Slimes are falling from the sky, you see that? That was wild. Hey, another guy booted all. Let's go. Can wait, 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 wait. We can stack them now? Yo, you used to not be able to stack them. Let's go. Because it was technically like a, a boss spawner, and you used to not be able to stack boss spawners. Fun fact. Oh my god, it's a cave bat. I didn't even see him, dude. Messing up my, my block placements, what the heck, man. Guess we're going down more. Got another one. Let's go. Thanks, mate. 
I mean, hopefully if all goes to plan, we only need one, but... I doubt that's gonna be the case, because this is hard mode, dude. Or expert mode, whatever you want to call it. Oh? Let's go, we hit the, the side of the world. Yep, alrighty, cool. Looks like we have our spawn point. Ooh. Boom. And then just like that. This this should be like plenty, right? You think? I might make some like little areas. Like mini walls to put up just because I don't know how like sketchy this is gonna get you know plus now that I'm thinking about it with these walls like this if I'm using the uh, water bolt in any way I literally would just have to be up a block in order for me to have it bounce back and forth. I don't know, though, if it, like, because the wall of flesh speeds up as you make it damage, right? So, I don't know if the water bolt will actually be able to keep up with it at some points, though. And definitely one of going to be one of the more crazy boss fights I've done in Terraria, I guess. Almost as crazy as the Moon Lord on PS4. First time ever beating the Moon Lord. Oh my god, that was nuts. Beating it solo too. Like, I had a clutch play where I was at like... I don't even know. I was in a contraption where it was like there was honey and some other random... Definitely not killing that thing. Uh, there, was, there was like honey and a couple other random like things I had set up and I don't even know what like I, I jumped out of my contraption which you know is usually a death wish right whenever you're in a boss fight especially with something that does such high amount of damage like I jumped out of my contraption ran to my house I mean the contraption wasn't very far away from the house but still and I ended up getting to the nurse and healing up. Like, I don't even know how I clicked the nurse and the heal button. As, I mean, you only have to get next to her, press triangle, and then X. But still, I did it so ridiculously fast. Instantly got full health. Killed him. Like, I'm like, I was ecstatic, dude. It was crazy. All these stupid slimes. Leave me alone. Uh. Definitely gonna need a swiftness potion. I don't feel like I'm running fast enough. Is that a, a bow? That's kind of cool. Boom. Oh, goblin army. Come on! <laughs> I forgot about these guys, dude. Oh, man. You know what? I'm going to do one of these. And then... I'm going to go into my potions chest real quick. Toss all the potions in here. Not like all of them, all of them, but, you know, just the potions, you know. Potions. And then, yeah, dude. 
second time around doing an outro during the goblin army. Yeah, I definitely... That, that was crazy, man. So yeah, thank you all so much for watching. I know it was a bit of a... I don't know if it's going to be a shorter video. I'm hoping it will be because I don't think you guys want to be sitting there listening. To, or I, I wasn't even talking most of the time. But it was like just me placing blocks in the underworld. You know, I don't really know if... Probably not the most entertaining video to watch. But hey, that's something. Dang. Going on a whole killing spree right here. So yeah. Thank you all so much for watching. If you did enjoy, please feel free to leave a like, comment, and subscribe. Share it with your friends if you want them to see this video. See me playing Terraria, you know, doing what I do. It's pretty good. And join us next week for some more Terraria. I hope you have an amazing rest of your day. We'll be having other videos posted throughout the week, so stay tuned for that. And yeah, thanks for sticking to the end of the video, and I will see you all in the next one. Bye!